Welcome to Electronics and More. Today I will be showing you an excellent way that you can obtain a 120 volt, 20 amp time control circuit with an LCD display for use with any 120 volt circuit. This video will also come in very handy for viewers of my popular microwave oven repair videos. Now I recently paid a visit to my local dump and of course I came across more microwave ovens and usually when I do come across microwave ovens I'll salvage the PC mounted transformer because they come in very useful for other projects. I'll take the piezo element out of here. This is the buzzer that you hear when the microwave cycle is complete. I'll salvage the high current relay right here which is 20 amps and the smaller 12 volt relay you see here as well as the capacitor, the magnetron, the cooling fan and the diode. As I started pulling all the components out of the microwaves I thought about it and I said you know I could actually use the entire control board with the whole membrane switch, the pressure sensitive switch assembly to control any load of my choice. It would be a great thing. I'll have the LCD display which is right here. This is the touch pad. Now this is usually just glued on to the plastic assembly. So what I did is I reached in with a razor blade on the edge on top and I grabbed it and I just started peeling it back gradually. Everything came off and of course I wanted to save the bottom. Now I did not want the popcorn buttons and all this other stuff and as you can see on the back these black sections are what allow these two halves of these touch switches to make contact when you push. So what I did is I cut from this point up and I peeled off all of these on here to get rid of them because I no longer need them. Once this was removed then if I want I could fold this nice and flat like that and this could be mounted onto a, once I flatten it out good, this could be mounted onto a plastic box like a plastic double electrical box about inch and a half deep. You could put all the circuitry inside of it. This can go right on top, flattened out and glued down. So you have a nice touch control box. You would have the LCD display sticking out in an opening in the box so you could see the time that it's set for. And then you could also have a 120 volt receptacle connected to the relay and the neutral so when the circuit triggers you could power up whatever you want. In this case up to about an hour and 40 minutes, 100 minutes. Over here is where my fuse is. This would be enclosed inside the plastic box. I would use a heavier wire, a 12 or a 14 gauge wire instead of this 18. This is just for demonstration purposes to show you how well this works. The wire going from the relay to the load and the neutral to the load would be a 120 volt receptacle on that plastic housing. So you would have your touch pad and then you'd have a 120 volt receptacle outputting to the load that you're going to control. Right over here you're going to see two wires. These two wires right here, all right, these were connected to the interlock switches on the door as well as the thermal cutoff. So if the door wasn't closed or if there was a fault with the door switches or the oven got too hot and it opened up the circuit, as soon as this circuit here is opened, what happens, it turns off power to the relay and then that turns off the power to the load. So if you were going to use this circuit for the purposes of heating something through that 120 volt receptacle which is going to be controlled by the board, you may want to put some sort of a thermal switch right here close to the circuit that's operating so in case this gets too hot this will open turning off the power to the relay which in turn shuts off the load. Let me plug it in and show you how well this works. Now if you have a problem that your door switches aren't working properly or the door is open or the thermal switch has been triggered opening the circuit when you go to enter the time one minute and then you hit start you see nothing happens. So if you get that kind of an issue you're going to know to check your switches and your cutoffs because that's a very common problem. What I'm going to do now is plug this back in. This is only 5 volts right here. Connect this back. Let me hit clear. Push this back together. Alright. Now that that's back, let me put in 10 seconds. 
and push start and you're going to see the load come on. Countdown. I mean, this is very useful. I mean, to throw this away at the dump when you could use it like this, it's pretty foolish. Showing end. Now the end blade of the relay, the one closest to the outside, that is hot all the time. That sends power to other places in the microwave. The one that's switched is the next one in towards the middle of the relay. When the circuit activates, the one in the center becomes hot, and then you can connect that to neutral to control your load. What I did is I bypassed the small relay. There's no reason to have it. I don't need it. And what I did is the power coming in right here flows through the contacts on this relay to supply power to the PC mounted transformer. So I have my 15 20 amp fuse right in here supplying power to the entire circuit. But what I wanted to do on the rest of the circuit is protect it with a low current fuse so I placed a 1 amp fuse across the relay contacts on the small relay. By doing that the entire board can only have a maximum of 1 amp flow through the entire board. And the relay contacts here will get the full 15 or 20 amps. So as you can see, it's a great idea to use this for other projects rather than to pull it all apart and salvage it for parts. So if you come across a microwave oven, remember what I showed you here, just take it back, bypass all your switches, get the two wires together. You might have to bypass the small relay by putting a 1 amp fuse across the relay contacts and then you're good to go. If you have a microwave oven and you turn on the power and you're not getting any display coming on and you have checked the fuse that's mounted on the filter board where the power supply comes into the microwave and that's okay, the thing for you to check would be to make sure that you're getting 120 volts to this PC mounted transformer. You're going to want to probe the two pins on this side to make sure there is 120 volts AC. If there's not 120 volts AC, then it's very likely that the smaller relay is not allowing the 120 volts to flow across the contacts to supply power to the transformer. Everything works exactly the way it would if you were running your microwave oven, except you're going to be controlling whatever load that you want. Something like this would not be cheap if you had to buy a pressure sensitive keypad like this with a digital display and a 15 20 amp relay to control the load. So considering I got this out of the trash, it's pretty good. A common problem with microwaves, you may enter the time, hit start, you'll see the countdown going, the oven light will be on, the turntable will be turning, but you don't hear the hum from the magnetron. And usually why that happens is because this relay you see right here is faulty. The contacts become corroded, pitted, arced, and when the relay triggers, it comes together and the 120 volts from the board, from the line coming in, doesn't transfer to the primary side of your microwave oven transformer. If that doesn't happen, the magnetron will not have any power and you will not hear humming. That's why I have advised in my videos, you're going to take a screwdriver, hold it by the blade, the insulated handle, once the microwave is turned on, you're just going to gently tap on that relay and sometimes a little harder if you want. And you will see that if the microwave turns on, you can be certain that the relay is faulty. Just keep tapping. If it doesn't come on, you're going to know that the problem is not coming from the relay and you could have a faulty transformer or a faulty magnetron. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.